All right, boys and girls, today we are moving on to multiplying fractions times a whole number. Again, multiplying means repeated addition. It's when we repeat our, like, three times two would be three plus three. Uh, three times four would be three plus three plus three plus th three. So it's repeated addition. So I'm gonna kinda show you what that means with a fraction. Uh, we have the whole number three times two fifths. And again, some of my new people, um, the little dot in between two numbers does mean to multiply. We're going to try to start moving away from putting the X for multiplication because we are going to be getting in some algebra and algebra involves letters. X is a letter, so we don't want to get confused. So this dot between two numbers, it's not a decimal. This is actually a multiplication sign. Uh, so what does this mean? It means we're going to take three two-fifths. So really what it means is we take two-fifths plus two-fifths plus two-fifths. All right, so what's fifths plus split-fifths plus that? Ah, fifths plus fifths plus fifths. It's still fifths. What's two plus two plus two? It's six. What's wrong with it? It's top heavy, it's an improper fraction. So we need to do six divided by five uh, to see, turn it into a mixed number. Five will fit into six one time. It is five. We're left over with one piece that is still ours. We're gonna put that one piece up, up top. What's our bottom number? Still five. So our answer is one and one fifth. All right, Mr. Drake, that's kind of a lot of work. You're right, I'm gonna make it a lot easier for you. So next, we have, again, a whole number times a fraction, just like before. Really, this would be like 1 7th plus 1 7th plus 1 7th plus 1 7th. That's a lot of work. Here's the easy way to do it. You can multiply a fraction times a fraction. Uh, Mr. Drake, I don't have a fraction here. I have a whole number. Oh, yes, you do. A whole number is a fraction. Simplified. So we need to unsimplify it. So when you have a whole number, you can put it over one, and it is still a whole number. It just looks like a fraction now. How does that work? I'm going to show you. Remember, the fraction line, it means divided by. So we have four divided by one. Well, what's four divided by one? Four. We're done. So you can turn a whole number into a fraction just by putting it over one. Now. When you have two fractions, this is how you multiply. Are you ready? You take the top times the top. Then you take the bottom times the bottom. That's it. So we're going to put our fraction line here. When we multiply, the top times the top. What's four times one? Four. What's one times seven? Bottom times the bottom. One times seven. Seven. What's our answer? Four sevenths. Let's do another one. Wait a minute, Mr. Drake. That was easy. I know. Three times four fifths. We need two fractions. How do we turn a whole number into a fraction? We put it over one. So we change this three over one. It's still three, but now it's a fraction. So now we multiply. How do we multiply? Top times the top, bottom times the bottom. What's three times four? 12. What's one times five? Bottom times the bottom, one times five is five. What's wrong with 12 fifths? It's improper, it's top heavy. So we do 12 divided by five. How many fives will fit into 12? Two. Two times five is 10. We subtract, we're left with two pieces. We still have them, we just can't make a hole out of them. So they go on top, still our bottom number is five. So our answer is two and two fifths. It's the same thing as adding four fifths plus four fifths plus four fifths, same thing. What about this one? Nine times nine tenths. Same thing, we can take a fraction times a fraction. We have to turn our whole number into a fraction. You turn a whole number into a fraction by putting it over one. That's it. Now we multiply the top times the top, the bottom times the bottom. Nine times nine, 81. 
One times 10. 10. What's wrong? It's improper. It's top heavy. The big top number is bigger than the bottom. So we do. 81 divided by 10. How many times will 10 fit into 81? Eight times. Eight times 10 is 80. We subtract, we have one piece left over. Still our piece, we just can't make a hole out of it. So we put it over our, the top number of our fraction, that's our piece left over the one. Over what? It's still 10. We still need 10 pieces for our hole. So our answer is we can make eight and one tenths. Now here's the only really tricky part, word problems. Oh, I know I said word problems, y'all are freaking out. Let me show you one. We used, here's the word problem, uh, I drew, drew a line here. We used four-fifths of 12 cupcakes. How many did we use? All right, so it doesn't tell us to multiply here. It doesn't say multiply four-fifths times 12. It doesn't say that. It says that you used four-fifths of 12. How many did you use? Well, that word of. When you see it in any word problem, uh, 99 times out of 100, that word of means to multiply. So we need to take 4 fifths times 12. Now what's wrong with 12? Well, it's not a fraction. Well, put it over 1 and now it's a fraction. Now what do we do? We do the top times the top, the bottom times the bottom. 12 times, 12 times 4. You should know this in your head. It's one of our factors. But if you don't, work it off to the side, 12 times 4. But 12 times 4 is 48. Bottom times the bottom, 5 times 1, 5. What's wrong with 48 over 5? It's top heavy. We need to do 48 divided by 5. How many times will 5 fit into 48? 9 times. 9 times 5 is 45. We subtract, we're left with three. Three what? Three pieces of an apple that we didn't use. So we put that three up top. Over what? Over our five. So what did we use? We used nine and three-fifths cupcakes. I think I said apples earlier, but it's cupcakes. Nine and three-fifths cupcakes is what we end up eating. Out of the 12 cupcakes, we ate nine and three-fifths of them because that's what four-fifths of 12 is. Uh, Buzz shows you a different way to do it. I like my way. It's a little easy. Do whatever you want. Uh, but I would just do top times the top, bottom times the bottom. In order to do that, turn your whole number into a fraction. How do you do that? Put it over one. Put it, the whole number over one, top times the top, bottom times the bottom, and you're good to go. All right.